Hello everyone, I got some examples to help you out with page 638, 14 through 19. Okay, example one here, we have 8 square root of 5 plus 7 square root of 5. Notice that the number under the root matches, so we can pretend this is 8x plus 7x, and then you would add the coefficients 8 and 7 to get 15x, which would be the same thing as 15 times the square root of 5. Okay, what's under the root does not get added, it's just the number in front. We added 8 and 7 to get to 15. Okay, next example, 10 plus 3 is 13, so we're going to have 13 root 6. Okay, here's our next example, 3 root 5 minus 3 root 20. Notice that what's under the root does not match, so we're going to have to rewrite it so they do match. Notice that 20, okay, this is the same thing as 3 root 5, minus 3 times the square root of 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. Okay, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, now we can pull a 2 out. We have a pair of 2's under the root, so we can pull that out and multiply this 3 by 2. So that is 3 root 5 minus 3 times 2, which is 6 root 5. 3 minus 6 is negative 3, so we're going to have negative 3 root 5 here. Okay, next example here, same process. We've got to make that number under the root match. We can rewrite 50 as 5 times 5 times 2. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So we have 4 root 5 times 5 times 2 minus 3 times the square root. 32 is the same thing as 4 times 4 times 2. I'm purposely writing it this way so I can pair up a pair of 4s. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. Okay, we'll pull this pair of 5s out. I have 4 times 5, which is 20. 20 root 2 minus... Three, okay, you're gonna have a pair of fours you can pull out. So you can pull four outside. So three times four is 12, minus 12 root two. Now the number under the root matches and we can subtract. Okay, 20 minus 12, that is eight, eight root two. Next example here. Okay, notice we have four different terms. Notice that the square root of three and the square root of 3, there's two terms with the square root of 3. We can combine those. This is a positive 8 root 3. This is a positive 10 root 3. We can combine those to get 18 root 3. And then we have minus 5 root 2 plus 8 root 2. Negative 5 plus 8 is 3. So it's going to be plus 3 root 2. And then our last example here, the square root of 5 times the square root of 3 plus 4 root 3. Okay, you can start by working inside the parentheses. We really have 1 root 3 here. That's the same thing as 1 root 3. 1 root 3 plus 4 root 3 is 5 root 3. So we have the square root of 5 times 5 root 3. And then you multiply the numbers that are under the root here. So it's going to be 5 times the square root of 15.